Hey guys, welcome to part 13 of this Python Django e-commerce tutorial series. Today we are going to go through these tasks. So we can begin by showing the correct products in the cart, because right now we just hard-coded the products here. So if I go to the template cart.html, we already have the cart available in the template, just like we have up here. So I can just remove one of these products, so just have one, so it's a little bit easier to work with. And then around here, I can say for item in cart. And I say item because it's an item and not a product, because the item has quantity and product. I'll show you soon. Then just indent this and say and for. And then to show the title, or the name of the product, we say item.product.name because the product is a property of the item. You can see it if I go to cart.py. What we do here is that we assign the product property into the item. So if I go back now and refresh. Okay, so I get an error here as you can see. And that's because the iterator function doesn't return anything. So I did some changes here. I go through the values as well, and then I set the total price for the item as well, where I multiply the product price with the item quantity. So when this is done, I can save, go back to the browser and refresh. And I will see the name of the product here. Let's also do the same with the price and the quantity. So if I now go to the template, then I can show the total price, item.total price. This is something we get from the function or the iterator function we just created. So you can see here this needs to be divided by 100. So if I go back to cart, then I can say int just to convert this and be sure that it's an integer, divide it by 100. So if I refresh now, it says $900, dollars Great. And then it's the quantity. So go back here, and then in here, it's the item.quantity. And save, refresh. So now this is correct. And then it's just a product image. So here we can say, sorry, you don't need to check here because here we're going to use the thumbnail. So product dot get thumbnail URL and save. So refresh, refresh. That did not work because it's supposed to be just get thumbnail. Sorry about the mess. And again, I did something wrong because it's item dot product dot get thumbnail and refresh. Now we have the image, the title, the quantity, and the price. Perfect. So then I can go back and set the first task to done. Next of them is to show the total price in the cart. And that's this one. To do that, I need to create one new function in the cart.py file. So if I scroll to the bottom here, create a new function or method. def get total cost pass in self and then I just say return sum because I want to sum up everything here item quantity actually I think I can just use the item total price which we calculated up here and then for item in self.cart.values let me try this so copy this go back to cart there and here we have the total cost. Let's say cart dot get total cost and save. So refresh, and now this is summed up together there. Nice. And this is the exact same thing we're going to use in the checkout page. So we can just make a copy of this. Go back here to this template checkout.html and replace the title with this. So then I can set these two tasks to done. And then I want to allow only to proceed to the checkout if you are authenticated. 
So to do this, we need to set a login decorator to the checkout page. So go to views.py. And then above here, we can say at login required. And I get an error here because I need to import this from django.contrib.auth.decorators import login required. So if you try to visit this page now without being logged in, you will be redirected to the login page. So that was next step. So then I can set this to done. And then I only want to show user information in the checkout. So if I go to the checkout page here where we show the first name, email and similar. So here I can say value oops request dot user dot first name make a copy of this paste it here for the last name last name the address zip code and city we don't have that yet but we have the email like that so if I now try to go to the checkout page sorry slash checkout Oops, check out. You see here that I need to be logged in. This page doesn't exist yet, so if I go to settings.py, we can change the default login URL equals slash login and save. So if I go back now, try to go to slash checkout, you'll see that I was now redirected to slash login. So let me try to log in. So now I was logged in, I can try to go to the checkout again. So slash checkout. Okay, exception total price. That does not work right now. So I need to fix a little thing inside the cart.py and that's because we have not uh, looped through the products here. So I need to add something here. And it's actually the exact thing as we do up here. So copy this, paste it and save. I will fix this later because we shouldn't do it like this, but it's okay for now. Okay, that did not work either. And that's because we haven't done this. So let's change this a little bit. Here we can say item product dot price multiplied with item quantity and save. So if I now refresh, this is working. We get the name here, the last name and also the email. Perfect. So then I can go to the to-do list, set this to done, save, go back here. As you can see here, this should be fixed and also this link. So I can fix the link first. So instead of going to this, we say URL checkout, oops, checkout, and save. So if I now click this, I will be redirected. And then I just want to fix this price. And I can go to cart.py. And then I just divide this with 100, convert this to integer. Oops, like that. So now this is correct. This is not the best way to do it. So I'll come back and do a rewrite of this function and also this later in this series. So now that task is also done. So I can set it to done. And that's it for this part. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and an answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.